Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. This week, I was stunned to find out that three women have allegedly contracted HIV from the same spa. These women were customers at an unli unlicensed medical spa in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Sadly, the customers believed that the vampire facials could rejuvenate their skin by extracting their blood, separating the platelets, and redistributing the blood plasma into their faces by the technician. Also, there is a use of micro or tiny needles, which is supposed to assist in decreasing fine lines, large pores, and prevent wrinkles. About a decade ago, social media influencer and Hollywood entrepreneur Kim Kardashian displayed a photo of herself with the vampire facial in the process. In the picture of the now famous vampire facial, she has a red blotchy face. Kim Kardashian, several Hollywood elites, celebrities, and athletes regularly have this spa treatment. Now, the investigators discovered that there were tons of unsanitary conditions in the spa as stated in this video. Through this kind of service. In the summer of 2018, a woman with low risk for contracting the virus was diagnosed with stage one HIV. She told the New Mexico Department of Health she got a vampire facial at the VIP beauty salon and spa. This led to the CDC investigation because there were no documented cases of HIV being transmitted through cosmetic injection services until now. The CDC says evidence shows that three cases involving people who had the procedure at the Albuquerque salon were likely the result of getting a vampire facial at the spa. In two other cases that involved sexual partners, a man who did not get the procedure tested positive. His partner did receive one and had a positive screen test in 2016. The investigation also found that one of the spa's clients tested positive for HIV in 2012. The CDC found that the salon had multiple unsafe practices, like not labeling tubes of blood and medicine, improperly storing them on a kitchen counter and in the fridge alongside food, storing unwrapped syringes in drawers and on counters, cleaning disposable equipment and reusing it, and they did not have a sterilizer. State health officials closed down the VIP beauty salon and spa in 2018. <laughs> the spa's owner, Maria Ramos de Ruiz, was sentenced in 2022 to three and a half years after pleading guilty to not having a license to perform the procedure. Now, the CDC tested 198 other clients of the VIP spa and their sexual partners between 2018 and 2023 None of them tested positive for HIV. The New Mexico Department of Health is still worried there may be more cases, and they ask anyone who receives services from the spa to get tested. It's a shame that a beauty procedure would be completed in a filthy medical place or clinic. Here in America, the emphasis is beauty at any cost to some people. This procedure is painful, costly, and now may possibly pose lifelong health risk. These women should have expertise lawyers who can sue the unlicensed medical spa owner. Plus, they must get treatment soon so their HIV status doesn't develop into full-blown AIDS. Even more baffling is research studies haven't proven that vampire facials actually cause women or men to look more youthful. In my opinion, Kim Kardashian looks fantastic. However, she has great genes from her mom, Chris. She has the best dermatologists, overall doctors, low stress, and a billionaire status. In my opinion, women and men can remain youthful by exercising a few times a week, 
maintaining their weight, getting sufficient sleep each night, eating healthy most of the time, and living peacefully without turmoil. Everyone should strive to be their best selves on the exterior and interior. Character is just as important as beauty. There's no reason for anyone to be obsessed with looks and doing a procedure that will diminish their health. Also, whenever someone does business with an individual or with a company, do your due diligence to research their legitimacy. Thankfully, the cat is out the bag now. Future would-be customers have been warned to be cautious. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a million and stay safe wherever you are.